Are you ready to relive the past? Well, step right up. We have Atari, PlayStation, Nintendo, Sega. Get ready for a wild ride. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Get ready to take a trip down memory lane. That table can only mean one thing. We'll be checking out... Well, you see we have Atari 2600, or actually 7800 games right here, but we're going to be actually playing a Nintendo 64 game. I just happened to be testing these out. And uh, the good news is the Atari 7800 works perfect. There is a few games that are a little iffy though, so I have to clean them and make sure everything's working, but today we're going to be checking out Doom 64. And uh, with Doom 64, originally I was going to do a High Fidelity gameplay episode, but it turns out that with this game, and there's a few games that are similar to the issue that I'm having with this game, the Elgato doesn't have a full range of colors capable of actually recording this game. So as you can see here, I'm going to show you a demonstration of what it looks like. When you record Doom 64 on the Elgato, the actual gameplay footage, it actually turns out really, really dark to the point where you can't see it. And originally I wanted to create high fidelity gameplay footage. Uh, it's not possible I guess, so <laughs> what we're going to end up doing is recording the actual TV itself di directly off the TV Doom 64. So the TV has a much higher, better reproduction of colors and uh, brightness, contrast than what the Elgato can produce. So we're going to be checking this out. You can see this is a plastic case that I actually made. The end label I made myself, if right there is a sticky little end label, kind of resembles the uh, N64 case. And um, yeah, let's keep all the dust out of it. And the uh, the actual label is in pretty good shape. Nothing wrong with it. So we're gonna be uh, heading over to the N64 that direction over there and popping it in. And we're gonna be playing Doom 64 directly off a CRT TV. Um, we're not going to be capturing the uh, the actual video footage of this game. We're going to be playing it directly off CRT because we uh, learned the hard way that Doom 64 is too dark for the Elgato. Alright, so here we are playing Doom 64 straight off the CRT. We have a uh, Magnum Box CRT from like 1995. Now, as mentioned, the uh, color reproduction on the scheme it's impossible to actually record the color reproduction and the brightness on the scheme on Elgato. For some reason, it comes out really dark. So, we're trying an experiment here. We're just going to record it off the street from the TV itself, see how it turns out. We got the audio coming through, so we'll do that. Let's see if we can autofocus here. And we have the uh, Doom introduction right here. Nice, fancy introduction. It's much more uh, crazier and more insane than the uh, PC and the, any other console version of Doom. The introduction for 64. It's really, really crazy looking. We got a little bit of gameplay footage right here. It's definitely completely different than uh, any other version of Doom that you'll ever see during that time. It's like N64 got their own version of Doom. It's insane. And now check this out. Yeah, the the actual footage coming from the TV actually looks pretty good. You occasionally get those black dark lines that fly up on the screen every once in a while, but it's coming off an actual real CRT screen, so this actually looks pretty good. Now before the uh, the brightness wasn't that great at all, I might actually record, let me know what you guys think, should I record games like this from now on off the actual CRT? I must say, I'm actually quite impressed. Look at that thing! That thing is a disgusting looking beast. 
Yeah, the N64 had that nice blur effect on their textures, so it made the uh, textures and very, very interesting. And nice, sharp graphics. Look at this. 60 frames per second. Like, who needs a Nelgatso when you can record the CRT at 60 frames per second? You got all these crazy things flying towards you. Look at this. He's shooting, like, fireballs. Look at that. That's insane. Uh, this game definitely looks overhauled completely compared to, like, the, uh... PlayStation version of Doom, or the, the DOS version, it looks completely different. Look at the fire effects there, got the uh, texture on the ground. Now before, when I was actually recording that on the, um, the Elgato, like the ground right there, you cannot see the actual ground at all. So the only way of actually recording this perfectly so you can see everything would be to actually do what I'm doing here. And it looks really good. Look at this gameplay footage right here. This is still the uh, computer playing this, They're like doing a little demonstration. You got a couple of enemies right here shooting off these green glow fireballs right here. You now I would imagine that if you owned the APC back in the day, which you know half of us had PCs back back uh, in the early '90s or mid '90s, that is. Um, more than likely, you probably had Doom, Doom One or Doom Two. Well, if you're lucky enough to own an N64, also, well, guess what? You can play additional Doom levels, a completely different version of Doom than what you were used to playing on the PC. And uh, more than likely, you probably would not be disappointed because this game is looks pretty nuts. That looks disgusting, by the way. And we got the ID software. Right there, and uh, let's uh, give this a try. Now, one thing that I didn't notice when you go into display and you adjust this right here, it does nothing. <laughs> so you can turn the brightness like all the way up, and it does nothing. So that's one thing that I found to be a little strange. So let's go back here. And there is a password entry here, so you can probably use cheat codes. Alright, let's uh, play Doom. Let's test it out. And right away we're greeted with the first level of Doom 64. Which is definitely not the same first level that you would normally see on the DOS version of Doom or the PlayStation version. And right away, we have, you have to figure out what buttons to push, by the way. That's definitely not the right button. Okay. Well, the trigger in the back, the Z button is actually the, uh, the shoot button. Alright, so there's appears to be like a door or something right here. And to open the door, you have to hit the, the right C stick. Or the button, that is, not a stick. And the, um, the GameCube is a stick. Oh, you got a little map right there. That's pretty cool. Got a conveyor belt type thing. So we have to run over here. Open that up. And I'm not exactly sure what that does, but... Playing this version, I never really played Doom 64 before. I played it maybe once. But it's so much different than the uh, PC version that it's crazy. And uh, look at the chainsaw. It, it looks like they try to make everything different. Like on the PC version, the chainsaw was a single blade chainsaw. On the uh, N64 version, it looks like they tried to outdo everything on the N64 version. You had a double bladed chainsaw. Look at that. That is insane. That is crazy. Oh, we got a guy over here with a shotgun. 
pretty sure there's probably another guy over here somewhere. Yeah, it's right there. This chainsaw thing is uh, pretty awesome. And I don't remember seeing that on the PC version, except for the uh, standard chainsaw. But this is a very, very sick twisted chainsaw. Look at that. It's much more effective. So now if we go down here, use the blue key. Yeah, I took that! I mean, this is pretty awesome. Look at this. I'm not sure uh, what the reputation was for Doom 64 when it came out. It probably got a lot of slack for not being the same as the, the PC version. But man, I must say, I'm actually impressed. Like the, uh, the lighting, the colors, uh, the textures. I think the game's actually pretty good, to be honest. It's like so much different than the PC version that I'm actually happy it's not the same as the PC version. Because it will actually give you the chance of playing something different. Alright, so I push this button over here. I'm not sure what that button does. Head, head down in this direction, I guess. Let's go up here. Let's... Oh, what the hell is that? Got another guy over here just looking around. Look at the lighting effects. Now, the N64 used silicon graphics processors. And, uh, I'm guessing that the lighting effects on the N64, you can see that the lighting is, like, crazy. I guess that's something that the N64 could probably do easily that, you know, other gaming consoles probably would have quite a hard time doing. But you can see that it, it, the lighting is, like, rotating, like, over the place. some health over here. We got this big ass monster right here. And this looks like the end right here. And every time you go to another level you have that reddish blood effect that this pops up on the screen and it looks crazy. It says you know, there is a password right there. Now occasionally the camera does blur out. Still using the chainsaw. The chainsaw is probably the best weapon. The chainsaw works quite well. And I must say the controls are really nice and smooth on the uh, N64 controller. So this game was definitely uh, a really good shooter on the uh, N64, in my opinion. I think it's actually uh, nice. The controls feel really good. You can strap back and forth. Although, the, uh, when you strafe to the left, you have to actually hit the left trigger, not trigger, the, uh, the um, shoulder button, that is. It's kind of hard to get up there. And holy crap, this is a very, very dark... This is probably the most creepiest Doom environment I've ever seen in any Doom game. This is creepy, look at this. Definitely not where you want to meet an enemy in this game. This is really creepy. See, there's the button right there. The button turns the light on. Thank God. Oh, there's a guy right here. Yeah, this game is like so different from the uh, PC version. It kind of blows my mind. Alright, looks like we're going to be punching somebody. Whoever gets in front of us next. You need a red key for that door. So we can walk around and find out where all the enemies are here. So, 
like I got hit by something. What the hell was that? Oh, there's the guy right here. Oh, look how he exploded into pieces. Oh my god, there's enemies in here. That's scary. I kind of don't want to go in there now because I can't see where I'm going and there's enemies apparently in here doing something. That whole area right here is creepy. I can barely see them. Imagine it's dark on the TV uh, on the Elgato it's like impossible to see anything. So when we record gameplay footage of this game it's like impossible to see. Alright, so we're back over here. I don't think we have any keys or anything like that. We're still gonna have to go back into this dark room. I'm trying to figure out oh man, where did I go? I have no idea where I ended up, but that was crazy. Now I have some sort of weapon here. Oh my god, what is this? That is a crazy weapon. Look at that. And so it's really cool because when you shoot it, the screen shakes. So it gives it that real effect like you're shooting a, a really nasty gun. The PC version did not have that, that effect. There's a lot of things that were improved on this version of Doom. See, Doom 1 and 2 kind of used the same engine. Uh, this might be the same engine as the original Doom, but it feels like it's modified and improved. It feels like it works better. Still, you, you can get lost in uh, this version of Doom easily, as you can see here. So you can either go that way or you can go this way. What's over here? Alright, so there is apparently a key right here. I could have sworn I picked it, that key up. This is one part that kind of confuses me a little bit. So there's nothing over here. There's nothing over here. You got these three little block pillars right here. Now, if I push the buttons right here, somehow I get damaged. I, you can see right there, I got damaged. So that's not the proper way of playing the game right there. I wonder if there's a way of pushing these blocks. Okay, so apparently, if we push that, we can run over here real quick. And get the blue key, okay. Oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> Man, that scared the shit out of me. Okay, so we got the blue key, and I don't think we need to be in this room anymore. Let's see if we can get out of here without dying. Oh my god, that guy scares the crap out of me every single time. Yeah, the enemies on uh, on the N64 version of Doom are like really detailed. In order to like run across, you have to run fast and get across that. Alright, so we're over here now. Picked up a rocket. There's like an invisible creature right here, you see that? You also have different weapons here, so... Get the chainsaw. Should 
shotgun. You got that huge weapon right there. That's an extreme amount of damage. And check out the. I feel like I'm playing something that's on par with like Duke Nukem 3D. Like the the level of detail on this game is insane. Look at that. Yeah, you have a fence that's like broken right there in the center. I mean, I don't think that would be something that would be possible on the uh, PC version of the game. Got a supercharger right there. Still missing the red key. Alright, so... More than likely, we need to get inside this door before we can get on that side. This is one of those games that would be nice and handy if you had a strategy guide. <laughs> you can easily get through. I wonder if these, they have any secret passageways or anything like that. It's in the, the PC version, you can easily find different hidden little areas that you can used to get to different places. I don't think there's any additional doors over here. Nope. So this is the room that we were in before. Oh, this is the Amplify Goggles. I guess this makes the area brighter. Okay. This is a different area. We need a red key. Okay. You can see the textures on these... Whatever these things are right here. They look like pillars or something. They're spinning. Something that you'd probably normally not see on a... The other gaming console or PC version of Doom, that's an unusual thing to see right there. I've already been in there. So I can go in here again. Let's check this out. Alright, so I've definitely been inside here before. Let's see all the dead enemies over the place. Yeah, so this is the place that I've been. Looks like there's a door right here, and it's not one open. Oh, what? Okay. I did not see that there at all. That was interesting. So we're up here, looks like, a, like an elevator type of thing. This is basically taking a look at the uh, the game Doom 64. Uh, never played it, as mentioned. It's basically my first time actually walking around this game and uh, actually looking at it on a real. Oh my God! You see right here, that is insane. So I got killed right there. So that's Doom 64. 
It's a really crazy game. I never actually played it on a real 64 before. I played an emulated version of it. But this is a real copy, the real thing. Uh, it's a it's a very interesting version of Doom. It's completely different from the PC version. I personally think it's actually a decent game. I think it's actually really, really good, actually. It's, uh, you probably need a strategy guide or, you know, a playthrough just to figure out what you have to do. Well, I would imagine back in the day, if you owned a PC with Doom and you wanted to play something pretty much different than the the PC version but still play Doom, then this is what you want to get right here. So if you owned the PC and the N64 back then, uh, you're pretty lucky. You can probably play both. So if you enjoyed this episode of Memory Lane... <laughs> what the hell? It says, you lazy... Now that's something different. I've never seen such a thing before. <laughs> wow. So if you actually die and you leave the game there long enough, it insults you. <laughs> that's pretty hilarious. So if you enjoyed this episode of Memory Lane, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment down below. Let me know what you think about recording games directly off the CRT like what you see here. So if you enjoy it. See, you see, it's actually saying a lot of different things there. It says, look at those demon feet. So if you enjoyed the CRT footage, uh, let me know what you think. And uh, maybe we'll record all the games off the CRT. Just let me know. And uh, we'll check that out. I think it looks pretty good, to be honest.